folks I, I think we've established by now that if you want someone to sugarcoat everything you want someone to be positive all the time and woo woo go video games I, i'm not the person for you i'm not the person that's gonna sit there in a cyberpunk chair tell you everything is hunky dory when the game comes out it's an absolute mess and then they never respond to that they never even actually play the game because I like to live in reality. If I have to burn a bridge with a video game company because they don't like my opinion on something, so so be it. I, I will continue to live. I'll continue to make videos. I won't lose any sleep about it. So with that being said, we have to talk about a game because this is a game that I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to. It, it's a game that when it was announced during the last Nintendo Direct presentation, it was honestly one of my most exciting announcements from that event i did a weird little thing new mario strikers new mario strikers i don't even know what that was about but i i did it and i felt it because i'm a fan of mario strikers you know i loved the gamecube game i even loved the wii game it's a really fun franchise but we got a new trailer for this game last night in japan only and i have some concerns i have some concerns because i'm seeing some things that made me kind of question the, the the end result with this game kind of made me question the game that we're going to be getting because you got to remember this game comes out in june okay at the time of the filming of this video it is may 6th so we're talking like a month away and ever since that initial trailer we, we really haven't seen all that much from the game now i'm going to talk about the good that we've seen and now sort of talk about my my questions with the game based on this new trailer that came out in Japan only for some reason. So the good of Mario Strikers Battle League is the fact that, I mean, it's a new Mario Strikers game. If you've never played a Mario Strikers game before, did you own a GameCube? Did, did you own a Wii? Because these were really fun games. And I know Mario sports games can be very hit or miss, especially in recent times, which we'll talk about in just a minute. But I always felt like these were super fun games because it does a good job of blending the more, you know, arcadey style, but still feeling like a game of soccer. But it has that Mario spin on it. There's power ups. There's different items flying around the map. You, of course, have your charged skill shots. Every character has their own strengths and weaknesses. This game, the, the Striker series to me, always felt more like a Mario Kart game in terms of the attention to detail and the attention to care done to these games because every character does feel very different every character does have unique attributes that makes you want to explore all of the different characters and with this initial trailer that we got from the game everything looked really good and it sounded really good you know I think the graphics of the game while the anti-aliasing might be a little high you know everything looks very sharp almost a little bit too sharp I think graphically speaking the game looks good it looks clean it looks nice the effects themselves look cool the the little comic book style artwork in the game that you see on certain shots or in the menu system I think it all looks really good you know it all looks very nice there's a very high attention to detail in it and it definitely sort of sets the mood the the gameplay itself looks like mario striker should look like you know one of my complaints about mario golf on the switch was the fact that um it just didn't feel like like an arcadey mario golf game it felt more like a realistic golf game with a mario coat of paint but you go back and play mario golf on the n64 online expansion pack like that game is so much more fun because it has a lot more of that pick up and play mentality but there is a deeper system to be learned and of course you have the mini golf in it which for some reason wasn't in the latest mario golf game there was a tacked on story mode in that game it's like you know we, we really didn't need that the story mode was essentially just a tutorial for the different sorts of stuff you'll encounter in the game but with mario strikers you know everything that we saw so far and heard about it i thought looked very solid the arenas themselves all had a lot of personality and then of course you have the whole online system with the game with up to 20 people in a single league and that sounds really fun i know there are concerns about you know this being a nintendo switch exclusive game developed by you know next level games you know how is the online going to be implemented was it going to actually feel like an online game from the modern era or is it going to feel like a generation or two behind but it seems like they're doing a good job with it you know i'm hoping that the code is up to snuff and everything runs smoothly online i'm going to assume they're using that new online infrastructure that we've seen in more recent nintendo switch games from both nintendo themselves and companies like capcom with monster hunter rise so everything on paper looked really good but we didn't really see a whole lot of it you know what are the different game modes in the game what are the different characters in the game what are the different arenas in the game when are we going to learn about that stuff and in this new trailer we got 
we got some of those answers and I'm not quite sure that I like these answers because now we have to get into the negative portion of the game and it seems like and I hope I'm wrong I I hope I, I pray to God that when this game comes out or in a couple weeks even that this video becomes dated that this video's information is no longer pertinent that no nobody cares about what I have to say about this because I've been proven wrong but I'm just basing this on what we've gotten thus far from the game this is official trailers and information from Nintendo but it seems like and it kind of has that stink of other Mario based Nintendo Switch sports games where on the surface level everything looks good but when you actually play the game you realize where the hell is the content? Where is the damn content? Mario Golf and Mario Tennis both had this issue. When the game came out, there were fully functional games. There were games that looked pretty good. There were games that played pretty good. But there was a distinct lack of content in all of those games. You know, you didn't have all these characters available on day one. You had to wait for more characters to be added into the game. It definitely felt more like a games as a service game. But the problem is, this is a $60 game. So you would assume that on day one, you would be getting a complete experience where maybe down the road they add in some additional stuff but the core experience itself that exists would be good enough and you know with mario tennis and mario golf that that wasn't the case dlc came out for these games almost at a rapid fire pace they tried to say oh well we're just extending the game life but it's like no you're more so just taking away things at the start of the game and then adding them into the game later on mario golf especially pissed me off because in the story mode you literally have toadette as a character that's playing against you but you couldn't play as toadette in the game until they unlocked her until they gave you the ability to play as toadette a few weeks later and it's like why you already have toadette in the source code for the game obviously toadette has all the animations you don't have to do anything you're obviously just holding this character back and we got to look at the roster for the game i'm hoping that this isn't the complete roster for Mario Strikers Battle League, but I can't help but feel like, well, maybe it is. We got Mario, we got Luigi, Bowser, uh, Princess Peach, Rosalina, Toad, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Wario, and Waluigi. Now, I am a big Waluigi fan because Waluigi is a suck it in the game, and that better be, I swear to Christ, that better be in the damn game. But there's 10 characters. Now, I guess 10 is more than like 8 and 9, which were in the previous Mario uh, soccer games. But come on, man. 10 characters. I, I could sit here and think of a... a there's a, there's a ton of different Mario-related characters that you could include in this game. And obviously, you you know, Donkey Kong. When the, when the hell was the last time that Donkey Kong was really associated with Mario? Donkey Kong's been doing his own thing. So obviously, you're not above putting in other Nintendo franchises into this game. You can't get a boo? Like a boo with a ghost shot and like that's his that's a special ability where it's like he's a ghost and he he goes away and then he comes back in like this feels very paltry and now because of this small roster i'm second guessing this game a bit because now it feels like you know another mario sports game that comes out in the month of june much like mario tennis and mario golf came out in where it's not going to be a game that's really complete on day one they're going to add in more modes along the way they're going to add in more arenas along the way they're going to add in more characters along the way and it's like how the hell is nintendo getting away with this we're not talking about a if this was a budget game a live service game okay that's a different topic but this is a full $60 game, and the game that you're buying on the cartridge, mind you, on day one, is not going to be indicative of what the game ends up being, I feel, because they're going to add more characters. They're probably going to add more arenas and more modes. Speaking of modes, what's going on with the single player? Is there really a single player mode? Is it just exhibition? Is there some sort of story, overarching story? How is all of this going to work? And I feel like the closer we get to June, without knowing the answers to this, it becomes very concerning you know it, it's a red flag for people and it should be a red flag for people because you know it, we're talking about a month out from release and we don't know basic core information and what we are being presented with you have to sit there and kind of question you know well is is this game going to be a complete package is this game going to be indicative of how the game will look in four months because as it stands right now i don't think so I think this is going to be a game where they implement free DLC that's actually stuff that's already done. You know, it's already sitting there. It's already ready to be rolled out. They're just holding it back to sort of elongate the life cycle of the game. Every video game company needs to realize something. 
if you have a great video game, if you have a game that's fun, if you have a game that's packed full of content, you don't need to elongate the game. You don't need to, uh, uh, you know, artificially elongate the game because people will continue to play it. Look at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, yeah, you added in a few DLC packs to the stuff, but realistically, that game was able to stand on its own two feet for a very long time before that DLC ever came out because the core gameplay experience was great because there was a ton of content available on day one, a ton of different courses, a ton of different characters. Nintendo themselves should realize that if you release a, a complete game, people are still going to play it, you know? And the problem is, I think people keep buying these games in hopes that there are going to be complete experiences. And then when you get the game, you quickly realize, oh, you know, it kind of feels a bit mediocre. I wish there was some more meat on the bones. And then Nintendo just randomly puts some more meat on the bones. So I have concerns. You know, I have concerns. And if Nintendo wants to do this, if they want to do this whole thing where they consistently make a sports game and then roll out new content for it, that's fine. But don't make it $60. Don't make it $60 because that's disrespectful to people, I feel. It should be like $40 or, or $30 or something. God forbid you price something under, you know, $50, one, two, switch. I'm looking at you. But God forbid you do that. But I, I really feel like Nintendo needs to do something like that because eventually people are going to get tired of this shit. And I feel like this game could potentially be the game that breaks the, uh, you know, the straw that breaks the camel's back on this because you can only screw over people so often and, you know, fool them so much to a point of where they're, they're now they're going to start questioning things. You know, is it really worth picking up on day one? What's my incentive to buy this game? If obviously in three or four months down the road, it's going to be different with more game modes and more characters to play as, and I'll probably have more fun with it. How often do we really revisit old games that get new content added in i know personally you know i might you know like halo season two I, I checked it out for a day or two you know a couple hours and i was like okay i'm done like there wasn't enough halo infinite content on day one and i don't feel like there's going to be enough content with this but maybe i'm wrong maybe i'll be dated maybe this wasn't the full roster of characters maybe there's a huge single player mode but i'm just basing it on what we've seen and from what we've seen I got some questions so let me know in the comments section down below what you think about this do you think that there's going to be a lot of content in this game or do you see it being like mario golf and mario tennis where the content on day one is definitely a bit scant and then more content just randomly pops up down the road that was obviously already done and just held back from the core game to try to elongate the life cycle of this game and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you're new to the channel and you like realness you're not worried about you know someone hyping up every game under the sun hit that subscribe button like comment and share the video and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one later